We're here with author extraordinaire Karen. Hello, Karen. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. So, um, first things first, so about your own publications here. Yeah. Um, how did you get started? Well, it's funny. I've always loved comics, and I read a lot, you know, strips as a kid. And then when I was older, people introduced me to more graphic novel length type work. And I never thought I could write that sort of thing, though I really loved it. And then I was reading the blog of one of my favorite comic creators, who's Kieran Gillen. He writes um, Star Wars and um, The Wicked and the Divine and Phonogram and stuff. Anyway, he said when he was younger, he got started by writing five page scripts and giving them to artists and saying, hey, do you want to work with me on that? And he said, you know, it's kind of like five pages is about as much as you could ask someone to do for you, you know, kind of without reimbursement. And I went, I could do that, yeah. So I started writing all these five page scripts and sending them to all the artists I knew and saying, hey, do you want to do this thing together? I have no money, but um, if we publish it and print it and sell it, then like we'll just split the costs evenly. And so that was my first anthology, Kinds of Blue, which is about depression and different aspects of depression. Yeah. <laughs> so because of your writing style, any inspirations at all? Uh, Karen Gillan is a big inspiration. Neil Gaiman, of course, he's a massive one. Um, my work is kind of a bit more, I don't know, it's not your standard superhero type comic stuff. It's sort of a bit more, I guess, reflective and uh, based around concepts and things. And I think I probably got that from a lot of the prose reading I was doing, like um, Orson Scott Card and Guy Gabriel Kay and Robin McKinley and, and writers like that who I really enjoyed reading as I was growing up and stuff. So, um, do you have your first publication here? Yes, so that's Kinds of Blue, this one here. Um, yeah, so this was an anthology of short comics about different aspects of depression. And it was kind of inspired by, um, well, my husband was diagnosed with depression within the first couple of years of when we were married. And then I started to realize that I had similar kind of symptoms, but it was different because, you know, depression is kind of the spectrum. You have people who it's more of a chemical imbalance in the brain and other people it's more about situational things. And I found I had a lot of stuff I wanted to write about because like, I knew more and more about the mental illness and I knew a lot of friends who had it as well. And so, yeah, it was just each of these pieces are, are kind of dealing with an aspect of that, like depression and work, depression and relationships, depression and um, food. Or, like, so would you say it's a kind of therapy as well, almost? Yeah, it was a bit. It was good to, I guess, get that stuff out of my head and get that out there. And I found that it's actually connected with a lot of readers. Um, people write to me and tell me, um, this book helped me explain how I'm feeling to my family. And thank you so much. And yeah. So Karen, uh, what are you working on at the moment? Um, at the moment, um, I'm kind of in between things. I just finished Monsters, which is my second anthology. Um, and after that, what I'm going to do is this series here, Eternal Life, is my ongoing science fiction drama. It's kind of, I describe it a bit as being like lost in translation in space. It's kind of about strangers sort of meeting, forming a connection and kind of influencing each other's lives. So that's an ongoing thing. And we finished part four a couple months ago. And I need to revise the script for part five and send it to my artist, Paul Wong Pan, and then we can start moving ahead on that. Um, and then after that, I want to be able to start writing some prose short stories, which I don't know what I'll do with. And I haven't actually written prose in a very long time, so it'd be good to get back into doing that. Yeah. So, um, out of all the publications that you've had so far, any favourites? Oh, Eternal Life has got a special place in my heart, I think. Yeah, it's it's... I don't know, because it's about people and it's about relationships between people, which sounds kind of vague and airy-fairy, but I think it's, it's a really important thing um, and it's something I guess we don't value as much. Like, we kind of take people for granted, we take the relationships that we have with them for granted instead of working on them and spending time developing them and strengthening them and, and that sort of thing. So that's what that whole story is about, so that's why it's important to me. Something for everyone, then, basically. Yeah, yeah. You're also a member of the Sydney Comics Guild. Could you, could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, the Guild is a collection of creators and fans and comics enthusiasts based in Sydney. Uh, we have all kinds of different meetings that happen throughout the month. So often we run workshops which help train creators in the craft. Um, not just artist stuff, but also writing and marketing and publishing and all that sort of thing. Uh, and also we have social meetups and um, gatherings where we get together and we just work on our own projects. And once a year we, we put out an anthology, so this year the anthology theme was silence. And we actually managed to get in print this year, so that was exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. 
So uh, the history of the guild, uh, when, when did it start and uh, how, uh, how were the numbers then to what they are now? Yeah, um, it was started by Alex Hammond, who's also tailing today, and that was, oh my goodness, probably about 2010, 2009, around then. Yeah, so I didn't actually join the guild properly till about 2011, so I missed out in the very, very, very beginning. But uh, yeah, back then, I think it was quite small, it was sort of more people that Alex knew who were interested in making comics, and then since then she's really marketed it and promoted it, and so it's grown quite a bit. I can't remember how many people are in our Facebook group, but it's like numbering in the thousands now, so yeah. Which is always good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Karen, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, we hope to see more, more of your publications in the future. Thank you. Take care.